Today we have some splendid cars we're going to get to film with. Some seriously cool stuff is going to happen. We have the 1950s Series 1, that's just, it's, it's amazing, it's like a little pet dog. From that, Land Rover then started developing and working on their design slightly and it got to a stage where other companies then got involved and they actually came up with this. This is a uh, Bowler 90. Now, this is more of your day-to-day -day sort of Bowler. It's still fun. It's 195 brake horsepower. You could use this car, but it's still very, very capable. And it has some, some racing aspects to it. However, Henry's Car Barn has managed to give us the opportunity to actually be able to film with this Bowler Bulldog supplied by Bowler themselves, which actually has racing pedigree to it. I'm, I don't know how we've done that but hey, it's a uh, three litre V6 uh, diesel. It's 280 brake horsepower, which hasn't really got an awful lot going on in comparison to this. Now, I would genuinely rather have this than any Ferrari, any Bugatti, any kind of car you could give me. This is my dream car. It is incredible. 550 brake horsepower. It's in the most beautiful color that Henry himself has had repainted in a Lamborghini green. Gorgeous, really think it suits the brand, and I just can't wait to show you what we're going to do with it. So, the EXRS, what can I say? 550 brake horsepower, Brembo, six pot calipers on the front. You're going to need that, you're going to need to stop the car. It does weigh 1800 kilos, that's light for this kind of car, but you know, you've got a lot of mass going, it's a quick car, you need to be able to stop it. I think Henry said it's 4.4 naught to 60. 4.4 seconds in naught to 60 top. That's ridiculous. In, in a car that you've, you've got uh, 30 centimetres pretty much of suspension travel. This thing can off-road, you can slide it, you can do this, you can do that. And you can outdo a 911, 997 around the track. It's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll go around. Obviously you've got carbon fibre everywhere, racing fuel, filler cap style. Henry Carbomb, shout out, thank you for today. Really do appreciate it. Now the doors. Now I, I can't stress enough. I have never been near a Land Rover that has had a door that light. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you look inside, we've got the Kevlar slash carbon fiber, everything going on. It's got that tin to it. So I think it's the Kevlar side of things. Look, the wind is blowing that door shut. It weighs nothing. So, inside the car, obviously it's all lightweight we know about. We've got suede, or well this isn't suede, but it's going suede. So, he's got the most brilliant taste here. So it's green, we're gonna have tan. It's gonna be tan suede, tan on the dash, everything. So it's gonna be really cool. Don't know if the orange is staying, but hey, I'm in love with it, absolutely in love with it. Now, getting in is a little bit difficult with a microphone on your bum, but we can live with it. Now, you've got the older Range Rover Sport sort of style. I mean, this is a 2015-ish kind of car, so you'd expect to see that side of things. We've got the Kenwood uh, stereo and everything in here. Not that you're ever gonna hear it with how loud it is, um, but what a car this is, what a car this is. These are the industrial sounds of a three litre diesel. That's right, a diesel. This is no ordinary Chelsea tractor though. This is the Bowler Bulldog Desert Spec. With wheel arches wider than the 80s pop singer shoulders and a ton of protection from underneath, this bright orange tank is made for rallying, and not just one rally either. It's competed in the 2018 Tuareg Rally, the 2019 Morocco Desert Challenge, and three rounds of the BXCC in 2019. It's safe to say it's a full rally car for the road. If you want something that will get you through everything life throws at you, you want this. I'm sat here comfortably with tan leather seats, full soundproofing and even surround sound. But don't be put off by all this luxury. This Defender 90 still has the same 2.2 diesel engine found in the last of the Defenders. However with this bowler we find under the bonnet a new hybrid turbo 
a race spec intercooler, a full race exhaust, and an ECU to manage it all. You can forget George's overpowered WAGS car and James's Tonka toy. This is what you want. So this car has a full cage, so it makes it a little interesting to get into. A cage car is pretty difficult to get into anyway, as well as the bucket seats. But being a Defender, this is quite a lot higher up, so it's actually quite difficult to get into. I'm used to the lower cars with the roll cages, but this is a high car with a roll cage. So, one leg in, slide the other in, and give the door a good slam. Then, the car has no keys because it is a race car, so, over here you press the green button, this button, and it will turn it on. You'll see bowler on there. And now, not on the brake, start button here. And she barks into life. So we're currently setting up for a drag race, which could be quite interesting, between the Bowler 90, the EXRS and the Bulldog. Um, I mean, we all know who's going to win this, I'm sure, but it's going to be fun to find out, especially with the tyres situation on slippery grass, but it's inevitable. You'll see what happens. <laughs> in the universe. I have the most horsepower, the most expensive car, the coolest car, and I'm coming last every single go. I don't think I'll be able to fit it out the car door because my head's so big right now that I've won most of them. <laughs> I guess we can say the conclusion is it's not quite all about power.
there we have it. The Bowler EXRS. The Nemesis. It even sounds demonic. The name of it, it, it sums it up. It pops, it farts, it bangs, but all it wants to do is play with you. It encourages you to be an imbecile. The Bulldog is essentially an industrial tank, built so you physically couldn't stop it. It's made to do the rallies and just keep on going. The real surprise of today is the Bowler 90. It does everything, it even won our drag race. It just shows how capable this car is. That you can take it to the shops, you can put your dog in it, or you could even take it to your shooting club. So you could go from Tesco's all the way to a muddy field and it would fit in in every single environment. At the end of the day though, they're all a different kind of car. The Nemesis has that big shouty V8 the Bulldog you just physically couldn't stop and it would just go on for mile after mile after mile. And the 90 you could take anywhere. So at this point, I must say a massive thank you to everyone involved. And thank you for watching.